The city of Virginia Beach continues to mourn 12 people who lost their lives in the mass shooting at the city's municipal center just two days ago. Many are coming together to support each other and the families of those killed. Zach Dahlheimer has a look at how people are showing their love for others, especially in unique ways. This weekend, we've seen lots of people coming out to memorials like this one here at the Virginia Beach Municipal Center. Behind me, you could see flowers, flags, notes, and crosses here with people who were killed in the shooting last week. People coming out paying respects to the victims and their families. This includes one group who took their memorial out on the water. It's therapeutic, so it's our therapy. Allie and Adam Hogan are on the coast honoring the victims killed in the Virginia Beach mass shooting. My Dad was in the building next to it two minutes before it happened. He was actually supposed to go pull a permit that same day, but for some reason he just didn't go down. We're a big city, but we're a real small town feel. You know, everybody, everybody knows everybody, it seems like. The Hogans are friends with the son of one of the victims, Herbert Snelling, a contractor trying to fill a permit when he was killed. He was just a great man. Uh, he was big into his church, and just if you didn't know him, you knew him. Mm -hmm. He never met a stranger from what we heard. They and others paddled out into the ocean for those killed or injured in the shooting. Just typically being from a beach community and living here, if someone passes away in the community and was avid on the water, even if they weren't, this is just kind of how everyone comes together. Some friends, other strangers coming together as one. My neighbor, she lost a son, so and my other neighbor worked in the building next door, so it, it all impacted us in a, you know, in small ways. It's hard every single time that I have to look. Cassie Hillian even bringing pieces of driftwood, each bearing a name of those who are gone. It doesn't impact the environment in a bad way, and um, they'll, their names will float out to sea. And um, when we go out, we can honor each person and let the families know we, we really love them, and we're so sorry they're having to go through all this. Whether on land or water, those like the Hogans will continue to rise up for those impacted. It's extremely unfortunate, and they're going to need Virginia Beach as a community in the next coming days, weeks, months, and even years. Tomorrow, Courthouse Community United Methodist Church here in Virginia Beach plans on holding a couple of community prayer services. I'm Zach Dahlheimer reporting in Virginia Beach.